Watch this video to learn how to spawn gold, have it fall from the sky and have the debris system clean it up for you when it is no longer needed. Welcome to Roblox Snippets. Let's get started uh, to make our gold drop from the sky. Uh, the first thing that we will do uh, so that we, we can view this and test it well is come up to our workspace and click on our base plate and we're going to change the size of our base plate to something a bit smaller. So let's say we make it um, 300 by 16 by 300 and that will give us a base plate where we can have our gold fall. Now this script that we will write in here will work for um, regardless of how when you make changes to your base plate. So but this should let us test and see if everything's working well. All right. Come up to uh, home and we'll create our gold part. So under part and the drop down, we'll pick a sphere and we'll change this to uh, the name to be gold part. Right, and then we'll change a couple of properties. So to make it a bit gold like, we'll set the color to new yellow and we'll make it very glow in the dark by changing its uh, material to be neon. And so that we don't kill our player, we'll change the size so that it's a bit smaller uh, down to, let's say, two. Two should be okay. Uh, you can play around with this uh, if you wish. And scroll down a bit further. Now we want can collide on and we want anchored to be off so that it collides with our base plate. All right, now, just because we're doing gold, you could do anything. You could have cars, buildings, whatever you like, spawn and fall using exactly the same process, but we're just using gold at the moment. So once you have your gold part, uh, we're going to move it now. So if you right-click on the gold part and cut the part, and we'll come down to server storage, and then right-click and paste it in there, ready to be used by our script. All right, so we'll create a script in service script service and we'll call our, our script uh, gold dropper script, which seems uh, the right thing to call it. Now, the first thing that we need to do is get a create a variable for our server storage down here. So local, and I'll just use uh, uh, let me see, I'll say just SS for server storage, which will be game, get service, and server uh, storage. And inside of server storage, okay, we want our goal part, so local, and we can just call this, well, we'll call it the same thing, goal part equals, and we'll say server storage, wait for child, gold part. Now we're going to be working with our base plate, so we'll create a variable for that as well, which will be the base, and it will be simply work workspace dot base plate, and then we'll drop down a couple of lines. Now we are going to be using the debris service, so we'll we'll come up the top here and create that service as well. So local debris, whoops, equals game get service. and debris all right so that we have our two services up the very top and then following underneath with our code we're going to do this in a while loop so this will sit in server storage and it'll just go round and round in an endless while loop and create these parts for us and then clean them up so we'll create our while loop so while task dot wait and we'll say point one in here do now this point one will represent the rate at which these are spawned. So if you like, you could come up here and create a variable called drop rate equals point one. And that way you'll know, um, we can put a comment here, how uh, quickly parts spawn. Just to remind you of what's going on. And we can replace this in here with drop rate. Okay, and that way you can um, adjust this for your own project and, and see if you can get it to work. All right, now that we uh, have uh, our loop ready to go, let's create now our, or clone our 
our gold part. So local, and we'll say new gold equals uh, gold part, and then a colon and clone, which will create a copy of it for us. Now we want to pick where on the base plate it's going to drop. So we'll use the coordinates of X and Z, so across and up and down, to pick a random spot where uh, the gold will spawn and then drop. So we'll create a variable called rand x, and we'll need to do a little bit of math to do with, uh, to go with this. So the first uh, part will be we'll say math dot random, and it's going to pick um, a number between whatever we put here and then a comma over here. So it could be one and ten. However, we want a coordinate on uh, the x axis. So we're using our base plate. So inside here, to begin with, just put another set of parentheses, and then we're going to get base dot size and the dot x, all right, and divide this by two. Okay. Now the reason we do that, in case you're not familiar, is our spawn point. If I zoom back up here, our spawn point is in the middle of the base plate, which is zero zero. And if we move across this way, that's x positive, and across this way, x negative. All right, and the same with the z up and down. Therefore, to get a random number here, um, we divide the entire width of the the base plate by two, and that will give us uh, what we need. Now, because we want to begin with the negative side over here, all right, just outside of these brackets, we'll put multiplied by and negative one and that will give us a, a position over on the left and then we can put a comma and put in base dot size dot x just divided by two which is the positive okay so i'll just get rid of that these windows so you can see and that will give us a random x position across this way somewhere in the negative or over here in the positive okay and now we're going to do exactly the same thing, but for Z. So instead of typing all that out um, again, then we can just copy this entire line and drop down. And we'll make sure we come through and change this to Z. And then over here, we want to change this to Z. And this one to Z as well. And that will get us our coordinates. So now, what we want to do is position our new gold part that we've just created. So we'll say new, uh, <coughs> excuse me, new gold dot position equals, and we'll say a vector three dot new, and we'll pass in our random x that we just created, and we'll set this a hundred studs above the base plate, and then we'll pass in the random z. And that will position our gold somewhere randomly over the top of the base plate, regardless of whether you change the size of your base plate to be smaller or bigger. Then we'll parent our new gold. So dot parent uh, equals. So uh, we want to before we we could just parent it to the workspace. However, if uh, I just come up here. So that we can test how much gold uh, you've got, we'll add up here in our Explorer window, uh, click on the plus and add a folder into your workspace, and we'll change the name to be All Gold. And we're going to place all the gold into this folder um, so that we can round it up and count how many uh, are falling, which lets you control how you want it to work in your own experience. So workspace dot all gold is where it will be parented to regardless of where it falls it'll still all go into this folder all right so that uh, that's all you need to get it to work however for our testing and we'll just write this down here um, uh, so how many uh, how many how many gold in uh, the workspace and we'll say local and we'll say all gold and then we go to the workspace and dot all gold 
and get children okay and we could well we'll need a for loop uh, or um, well, there's a couple of ways we could do it but we'll just use a for loop here uh, to do it now so for I uh, and we'll say gold in pairs uh, all gold and do and we'll print out here um, I and gold right and that should let us uh, test and check so that is all we need to do um, in order to finish off that script and I'll just move it down so that you can see the whole thing uh, clearly so if you've got everything looking like that then we can click on file and save and we'll come up and play okay so if everything is working well then you should see um, obviously gold dropping all over the place and down in your output window here you'll also see that we it continuously keeps updating and we're getting up to be 98 100 all right now what did we miss well we didn't add in okay so you see how it's just getting fuller and fuller and it's starting to slow down because uh, it can't handle everything now this is the problem with having too many objects in your workspace or spawning things over and over and this is what the debris service does so in the debris service uh, or making use of the debris service now just below where we parented it to uh, the workspace we'll add one line to say debris all right and we add a colon and add item so this is the item that you want to get rid of and in our case it's going to be the new gold that we just created and at the end of it this is the lifetime so in terms of say seconds um, how long before the part is destroyed and we'll just put in here 10 so you could put up the top here as well another variable uh, destroy after all right and we'll say 10 and this will let you test without coming into your code all the time when you use variables so destroy after in here so now we got up to 146 gold let's click on file and save and we'll play again all right so it's up and running and the gold is dropping like crazy all over the place and you should see down the bottom here now that we'll get up to it's looking like it's getting up to around 50 45 49 and and it just keeps sitting there around that figure and even though I'm in the game and it's continuing to run uh, like it was before you'll notice that the game's not lagging um, and slowing down because it's removing all of those items out of the, the workspace so that it doesn't have to keep track of them and that's what our debris system is really good for so I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you in future videos if you found this video useful subscribe now for more information about my online courses go to mrbrendanross.com